Tonight's top EU stories from the UNIT website include Proposed benefits block on EU migrants fails Ministers seek further ways to work around EU benefit tourism No driving test for those that cannot speak English Solar energy subsidies in Germany breach 100 billion euro ceiling I'm Rick Timmis and this is the UNIT Nightly News Up. This is the first of two articles on our front page dealing with the public outrage as EU migrants claim local benefits for children who are residing in their own country. We reported the week before last on the vast sums being leached from the child benefit system and then sent back to Poland. Well, further investigation has revealed that this is not an isolated case and that it is often standard practice across the EU. This story is huge and it will anger many people, I'm sure. Just to add salt into the wound, UK ministers are now apparently refusing to give out their estimates as to how many Romanians and Bulgarians are anticipated to make their way to the UK as our veto ends. In this second article, we look at ministers' strategies over how to get themselves out of this EU benefits legal full Nelson. Perhaps our ministers might even ask the questions, why do we not have the power to legislate control over our own welfare system from here in Westminster? Now that should be the first thing that comes into an MP's mind, in my opinion. This story is going to take off like a kleptocrat after a free trade agreement, and no doubt it will run and run. However, if you're only going to read one article today, then this should be it. They've got themselves in a proper conundrum. Foreign drivers are to be banned from taking the UK driving test in their own language. The cost has gotten too great and there have been safety concerns raised over drivers' ability to read road signs written in English. This article reports that interpreters will no longer be an available option and non-English speaking EU migrants will first have to take command of the English language before being allowed to take command of the UK roads. This article tots up the subsidy costs incurred by Germans for their bold move towards high use of solar energy. Apparently, the 1.1 million solar systems in the country have generated virtually no power for several weeks. This is predominantly due to the short winter days and poor overcast weather. Investment in the technology has exceeded 100 billion euros and Germany finds itself in an embarrassing position of having to import power from France, which of course uses over 70% nuclear to generate its power. Today in our video library, Max Kaiser highlights core problems with the UK bond market and currency devaluation. Recorded on the 25th of January, Max accurately predicts a downgrade which is realised within days as Moody's downgraded the UK from AAA status. But what does this mean for us? Inflation, interest rate rises and further currency devaluation. Isn't that interesting? See our audio section for our interview with Dr Eric Edmund of December 2011 where Eric describes exactly this situation. A viewer wrote in to correct my mistake over post office closures from the last show, where I incorrectly said the EU illegal state aid legislation had closed 26,000 post offices. That was a typo error in my screen script, which was my bad and I apologise for the error. The correct figure was actually 2,500 post offices closed as a result of the EU illegal state aid directive as mandated in the European Treaty. That's all for me, the Unit Nightly News. You can get lots more news stories and information on our website, theunit.com. You can get in touch with us there, and we particularly welcome your letters and points of view. You can follow us on Twitter. Our Twitter username is the E Unit. And remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel for all of our regular updates. You can join me and the rest of the team for interactive discussion and debate on Google Plus at any time. Finally, our The Word programme is active again. If you would like one of our public speakers to come and discuss Britain's relationship with the EU in your area, get in touch with us via the Word section of our website. 
Rick Timmis for the Unit Nightly News. I'll see you soon.